Have you ever wondered the why on trade, tariffs, and government? Kevin Hassett, chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors, explains. Yeah, I think that you know, the, the president uh, quite credibly is willing to use tariffs if he doesn't get the kind of deal that he wants, and we've seen that over and over since he's been here. And, uh, but ultimately, his objective is reform. And so you know, the USMCA deal with Mexico and Canada is a significant trade reform. The ITC scored it as being one of the best trade deals, or actually the best trade deal they've ever scored. You know, we've got a Korean trade deal that's a significant reform. And we've had negotiations with China that are up and down, but are definitely in the movement of reform. And so the president gets people to the table by putting tariffs on. And I think that it's a strategy that previous presidents didn't use, uh, but that they maybe should have. Because if you look at it, the problem with the trade deals is an asymmetry, where the other guys are treating us much harsher than we're treating them. And, it, and so if you ask people to the table, then pretty much the only thing they have is stuff to give up. Uh, and, and so by putting tariffs on or threatening tariffs, what you've done is you've made the, the negotiation more reciprocal. Mexican officials and President Trump differ in details regarding an agreement to stop the U.S. from imposing tariffs this week due to the border crossings. Speaking at CBS's Face the Nation over the weekend, a Mexican official simply stated that trade between both countries, including agriculture, is expected to increase over time. President Trump last week on Twitter said a deal with Mexico would include immediate buys of U.S. farm products. A deal was later reached, but there is no word or evidence to back those claims. Well, a new Agricultural Research Service study should boost efforts to develop new varieties of wheat that are better equipped to face the and resist the scab disease. The report announced Monday identifies a key gene that could help be a genetic resource. That's a look to your news. I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.